Tony Randall, the celebrated American actor known for his versatile talent and iconic roles, led a life marked by both professional success and personal uniqueness. His story included not one, but two marriages, with his second union to Heather Harlan raising eyebrows. However, what truly captured public attention was his decision to embrace fatherhood in his late 70s, defying conventional expectations and sparking discussions about the complexities of family life and love. Join Facts First as we present Tony Randall died 20 years ago, now his wife confirms the rumors. Tony Randall, born Arthur Leonard Rosenberg, on February 26, 1920, was an American actor best known for his role as Felix Unger in the television adaptation of Neil Simon's play The Odd Couple. Beyond his professional career, Randall's personal life, particularly his later-in-life marriage, garnered significant attention. Randall married Florence Gibbs in 1942. They were together for 54 years until her death in 1992. This long-lasting marriage was a significant part of Randall's personal life, though it was largely kept private, as Randall was known for being relatively guarded about his personal affairs. After Florence's death, Randall's personal life made headlines due to his marriage to Heather Harlan. More on that in a moment. Throughout his life, Randall was also known for his interests outside of acting. He was a serious and knowledgeable collector of art and antiques and had a passion for opera. In fact, he founded the National Actors Theater in 1991, a company dedicated to classic American and British plays, reflecting his deep love for the theater. As he entered his later years, he continued to remain active in his profession and was involved in various philanthropic endeavors. In later years, he continued to make occasional appearances on TV and in films, though his pace of work had slowed down. Despite his advancing age, he remained dedicated to his craft and received critical acclaim for his performances. Randall passed away May 17, 2004, at age 84. Tony and Heather The relationship between Tony Randall and Heather Harlan was indeed a subject of significant attention and discussion due to the substantial age difference between the two. Tony was born February 26, 1920, while Heather was born October 27, 1970, making a staggering age gap of 50 years between them. When they got married in 1995, Tony was 75 and Heather was 25. Their age difference of half a century undoubtedly raised eyebrows and sparked controversy. Their unconventional relationship was met with a mix of curiosity, skepticism, and even criticism. Some people were skeptical about the sincerity and longevity of the marriage, often speculating about Heather's motives for marrying a much older man who was already an established Hollywood figure. Questions arose about whether it was a marriage based on true love or if other factors were at play. Despite the controversy and skepticism, Tony and Heather's relationship endured. They seemed genuinely devoted to one another, and their marriage was described by those who knew them as loving and harmonious. Randall often spoke fondly of his wife and their life together. He frequently emphasized their shared interests and values, highlighting their strong emotional connection and commitment to their family. The marriage also resulted in the birth of two children, Julia Lorette Randall and Jefferson Salvini Randall, who brought immense joy and meaning to their lives. Their relationship challenged societal norms and expectations, demonstrating that genuine love and connection can thrive in unexpected circumstances. When Tony passed on, he left all of his estate to Heather. It was estimated to be worth more than a million dollars. Heather's Story Heather Harlan, born October 27, 1970, gained public recognition primarily through her marriage to Tony Randall. While her fame is closely associated with her husband, Heather has her own background and career. Before marrying Tony in 1995, she worked as an intern at NBC. Her professional background was in the field of broadcasting and media, where she gained valuable experience and skills. However, after her marriage to Tony, Heather chose to step away from her career to focus on her family and raising her children. Heather's life took a new direction as she became a devoted wife and mother. Her priority was providing a stable and loving environment for her family, and she played a significant role in supporting Tony during his later years. Despite the significant age difference between them, their marriage was described as a loving and harmonious one. 
While she didn't pursue a high-profile career of her own, her commitment to her family and her husband's legacy was evident. After Tony's passing in 2004, she continued to honor his memory and remained involved in various philanthropic activities. Her efforts included supporting causes related to the arts and education, which were dear to Tony Randall's heart. While Heather may not have achieved fame in her own right, she played a crucial role in the life of Tony Randall and their children. Her dedication to her family and her husband's legacy is a testament to the strength of their relationship. Kids Late in Life Tony Randall had two children, Julia and Jefferson, with his second wife, Heather Harlan. Their births were significant, not only because they marked a new chapter in Randall's personal life, but also because they occurred when he was in his later years, which was considered quite late for parenthood. Tony Randall's decision to have children at an advanced age was a subject of both fascination and controversy. When Julia was born in 1997, Randall was 77 years old, and when Jefferson arrived in 1998, he was 78. The actor had often spoken publicly about his desire to become a father, even in his later years. He once humorously remarked, I would love to have children, but I'm too old to have a wife. Randall's decision to become a father in his late 70s was met with a mix of reactions from the public and media. Some applauded his willingness to embrace parenthood at an age when many people are retired and enjoying their golden years. They saw it as a testament to his vitality and dedication to family life. However, there were also critics who expressed concerns about the potential challenges and risks associated with older parenthood. They raised questions about whether he would be physically capable of keeping up with young children and whether it was fair to his children, given the potential for a significant age gap between them and their father. Tony Randall, for his part, was unapologetic about his decision to have children late in life. He spoke openly about the joy and fulfillment he found in fatherhood and the love he had for his children. Randall often highlighted the benefits of his age and experience as a parent, emphasizing the wisdom and patience he could offer his children. In the end, Tony's decision to become a father later in life remained a subject of debate and discussion, but it also served as a reminder that parenthood is a deeply personal choice, and love and care can transcend age. His dedication to his children and his willingness to embrace fatherhood at an advanced age left a lasting legacy in his personal life, even as it continued to be a topic of public interest. Heather confessed that Tony was fully aware that he wouldn't be around for much of his children's life, so she recently said that he was obsessed with making videos of himself and the family that they could watch after his death, and Heather has tried to ensure that his memory stayed with the family after his passing. In an interview, she said, quote, I didn't want to make the house a shrine and keep the pain so present. But she also said that friends of Tony's, like Gary Marshall and Jack Klugman, would often come over to tell stories about Tony to their kids. Added Heather, they would tell the kids the nicest stories about their dad. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think it's unfair for a person to have kids so close to their last years? Let us know in the comments section below.